Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about solar and specifically storage. In the old days it was lead acid batteries and a lot of them, but today it can be lithium. Let's have a look. Well, welcome to the next step in the off-grid cabin, and that's a major upgrade to our solar setup. As some of you may know if you've been watching our videos up till now, we've been operating on a 100 watt panel and some leftover batteries that we found, and uh, that's been good enough for our water pump and our lighting, but uh, we want to get a refrigerator going. So we're embarking on an experiment here. In our case, we're using part of a battery pack from a Chevy Volt. Sometimes when these cars are in accidents and they can't be repaired, the battery pack is still intact and can be used for these kind of off-grid applications. So solar has come a long way and the prices have really fallen in the last little bit. And one of the best developments that's happened is lithium for the battery storage. In the old days, you'd have huge uh, lead acid battery packs, but luckily now, much smaller packs can hold the same amount of energy and be of much better quality. And this is a star of the show. A lithium ion battery pack from a Chevy Volt. Right now I have the solar panels in the backyard here in the city. I'm just doing some testing and currently 126 volts. Because the system is going to be 48 volt, we got a 48 volt inverter. The power coming in from the solar panels first go through these DC breakers. They can be used to isolate the panels from the rest of the system. Keeping track of polarity is very important in these systems. I'm using colored tape and also writing the polarity right on the DC breaker box. Because the spot we chose for our solar panels is 150 feet from the cabin, we needed to run a higher voltage system to allow for that long cable length. So we're using a 150 volt charge controller Secure electrical connections are very important in a system like this. Be sure to crimp securely all wire ends and tighten down securely all nuts and screws. And then go back and check them after a week or so and retighten. If you're interested in my two axis solar ground mount, you can check out this card here and there'll also be a link down in the notes. This Victron charge controller can be monitored by Bluetooth. It's really an excellent way to use your smartphone to keep an eye on all your energy production. These are exciting times to be off-grid. 
I think what this system shows is that you can really consider buying places that don't have access to the electrical grid because with the price of solar falling and new lithium storage, you really can have all the comforts at home without a huge price tag and you don't have to pay the monthly fees. So we're in peak sun conditions here and the system is working great. We got refrigeration and our lighting and we're starting to add more stuff all the time. So until next time, we'll see you on Ontario Lakeside. I wanted to take a sec to thank our friends over at Bobolink Solar. Calvin and Sue were instrumental in helping us figure out all the technical parts of this project. <laughs>